Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. What a blessing it is that we have the Word of God to study, to learn about Him and His Son, Jesus, and His ways. And I'm just excited to have you with me today. I know the Lord is with us as we study. He wants us to know His Word. So you're going to be blessed today as you study through this book of Micah again. And so we always want to go to the Lord in prayer before we begin our study. So pray with me, if you will. Heavenly Father, it's with great joy that we do come before you, knowing that we have the word of the living God before us. And Lord, that you want us to know your word, and you desire that we would be guided by the principles that are in your word and the attitudes and actions that we'll see demonstrated. So I pray that you'll bless everybody that's with me today as we're studying your word, wanting to hear from you. And Lord, we just want to be careful to give you thanks to just so appreciate your word, to know that you are the one that we can honor and adore, and we do so. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Walls Built, Decree Removed. And it's taken from the book of Micah, chapter 7, and verse 11. As Micah the prophet likened the indignation for his sin being like Judah's, He knew the Lord would plead his cause, execute judgment, and bring him to the light. As a result, Micah would behold the Lord's righteousness. Micah's enemy would look upon his restoration and be shamed and trampled in the streets for asking, where is your God? And in chapter 7 and verse 11 of his prophecy, Micah made declarations concerning the walls being rebuilt and the decree being removed, where we read, In the day that your walls are to be built, in that day shall the decree be far removed. The verse begins, in the day that your walls are to be built. As Micah continued with the thought of his enemy being embarrassed by his taunting and doubts, he gives specific reasons shame will be upon his foe. In the day, which means the time period or division of time, that your walls or fence of protection, as in a fortified city, are to be built or rebuilt, established, and caused to continue. The walls were used for habitation, defense, towns, and the temple. And once the nation of Judah entered their captivity in Babylon for 70 years, Nehemiah was given the opportunity to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. We can read more concerning the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem in the book of Nehemiah. The verse continues, In that day shall the decree be far removed. Micah continued with another reason his enemy would be disgraced. In that day, which again is a time period or division of time, shall the decree or statute, ordinance, or task be far removed, which means distant and far away. In other words, the decree to tear down the walls of Jerusalem was to be repealed and removed from the city, and this would lead the way for the walls to be rebuilt. As we think through these words of Micah the prophet, we should realize the significance of the walls of which he wrote. The walls represented safety, security, and dwelling places. They gave a sense of home, autonomy, protection, nationality, and status. We should also remember as he was writing these words, the walls were still standing and the people may have doubted his future sequence of events. What if the walls in our lives were suddenly under attack and removed? What if that which we relied upon for safety, security, and status was decreed to be extracted and we were exposed and vulnerable? We should keep in mind that Jerusalem's real security was in the Lord, and they needed no other. It was the Lord who allowed the walls to be torn down, and it was the Lord who would remove the decree to, to, and have them rebuilt again. The source behind it all was the Lord. And when we put our trust in, rely upon, and cling to the Lord Jesus, there's no greater place to be safe and secure. May we always remember where our true security lie. Next time, Micah writes about Assyria, fortified cities, rivers, seas, and mountains. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. 
as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.